So how to create an online shipping website that has a tracking code like DHL and FedEx. Now it's very simple for you to create this website using PHP and a ready built script. Now the first thing you need to do is to get a domain name. You can get it from GoDaddy or you can get it anywhere local or probably you can get a host and also a domain also from bluehost.com or you can contact us on where to get cheaper ones then this is the sample of the shipping site we are going to build it's going to <coughs> have a very good layout then with an online tracker like this so all I need to do here is just to type um, my tracking code here let's say 2014 you see the details of where the thing is going and all that okay now how do we go about it you have to get a C panel it comes with this when you buy your domain name and host now it comes with this when you log into your C panel all you need to do is to click on file manager then you select the domain you want to put it I have several domain here so I'll just choose VCC Ghana okay now that's where I wanted to upload the shipping site script in that we edit to create our site so all I need to do is to create a new folder since I already have content in my website assuming I don't have content I would have just uploaded it here direct so all I need to do is to create a new folder and name it anything so let me make this one let's say test okay and click on okay so I'll scroll down and look for the folder test then all I need to do is to upload the script the shipping side script into this folder by clicking here upload and then um, search for where the script is okay so I'll click on file then I'll click on this is it is on my desktop in a folder so I'll click on it this is the script I'll just click on upload then it's going depend on the speed of your internet it's going to take some minutes and then um, it will be done okay so once you upload it you can now is already a template and a script and everything you can always go there to edit it to suit whatever you want okay so like this is this you can go there and change the logo change all these pictures and all that or change the entire layout the content and everything I will show you how to do that okay so let's go back and check um, okay it's fully uploaded you've seen it okay so all I need to do now is to go back to our folder and then um, click on refresh reload okay so you've seen it this is it so all I need to do here now is either I right click or alternatively I'll click on extract the script is in a zip folder so all I need to do is to extract it okay so the entire script has been extracted I'll click on reload you've seen it it creates a folder called a so all I need to do is to open the folder and um, click on select all I want the if you look at the address it's going to be my website which is vccigana.com in this folder slash test that's where I want it to be I don't want it to be on all these folders so all I need to do is to highlight everything then I'll click on move file okay so you now choose where you want it to be so I wanted it to be on our test folder so I'll click here move and in few seconds is there okay so right now if we go to our test folder here click on go you've seen that it's here okay so now let's go to our browser and check what we've done so it's going to be my web address which is vccgana.com then I'll click on slash test that's the folder okay so <coughs> it's going to bring out the the 
site that we've uploaded is going to look like this it's going to look like this and all that okay so yes, very simple so all we need to do now is to configure the online tracker script so that it will start working and you can put as much as any number of tracking codes you want to put for your clients and customers okay so let's go back okay so how do we configure the tracking script we have to configure my sql because it's a script on my sql and php you don't need to know anything about php you don't need to know anything about my sql you just need to follow this video so what you do here you click on my data my sql database here and then um, you name your database it could be anything so let me just put it as test and click on create a new database okay so I'll go back so our database has been created so I'll go here and click on new add a new user I have to put at least one user in the database let me also now make it as test then you put a password let me put my name Peter at 2014 okay Peter at 2014 and then um, click on create new user okay so you've seen it so this is the user this is the password we will need this to configure the script so you just copy it and put it on the notepad okay so this is all you need so all I need to do here now is to go back and add the database user to the database name that we've created so I'll click here and I'll select test here click here again and click on test and then um, add a user to database I'll click here and test then click here also test then I'll click on add so I'm adding this user to the database then I'll click on add all privileges then made changes okay so I'll now go back okay and um, if you look at it now under the script you see I have it there this is Ghana okay so let me go back to <coughs> our C panel okay since we've created the database I've already done a my SQL scripts already that you use to configure it so you don't need to write any script so this is it you just upload it okay so all I need to do here now is to go back to our C panel and then um, click on PHP admin okay so I just want to upload that script and um, we are done okay so all I need to do here this is my folder I'll search for that particular database VCC and underscore test okay I'll click here plus and test okay so yeah I'll now click on import so I just want to import a database we are not writing any code everything has been done already then this is the MySQL script I'll just click here open and then um, click go okay it's going to take some few seconds and the scripts will be uploaded in our database so you can see import has been successful finished starting queries executed so all I need to do I'll just click on tracking so this is our tracking code okay so yeah already we have some of the database here in default you can see so all I need to do you just click on one of them you edit it okay you don't need to worry yourself with anything so I can just make this code so I can say maybe 24 2012 okay and then um, this is the informations that will be there so the shipment type is it shipping or whatever then I will put the date that the person will receive the good maybe 14 then here also when the person will um, the 
the estimated date so this one it is the organizations that will be updating it at any time wherever the goods is in the site then you can be coming here and be updating it maybe every day okay for the shipping company okay so shipment type you can now put shipping on anything so what's the content it could be let's say computers the uh, receivers name you can now put the persons that will receive the goods then let's say address so I can say 6 Abufu Road Achimota so you can put any address there depending on where the goods is going for the organization so Ghana or any country so you can put the phone number yeah let's say zero two four three four six three five nine five then status so this could be if the goods has been shipped or maybe they are still packaging it or whatever you click on packaging if the goods has been shipped you click on shipped just like the way it is in DHL their website and you click on go okay this information will be updated so you can see the information has been updated okay so now let's test what we've done so far by going to our site which is um, vccghana.com slash test tells the next thing we'll do now we go and update our code by going to the folder this is public underscore html we'll now look for test what we want to do is we want to connect our database so that it will work okay so I'll click here then I'll click on admin it's a folder on it and um, click on connection okay so I'll now op click here config.php I'll click on edit uh, okay so it's going to open a new page so you go back here again then you click on connection.php you click on edit and um, that's all okay so you just update this to the informations we have here we use in creating this I think Peter at 2014 it's our password okay so I'll just paste it here then change this our database name which is this is again underscore test the one we create that time test okay so everything is okay here all I need to do here is to click on save changes and then um, the next one too is still the same thing change the password here then click on test which is the database name click here also on test okay and click on save changes okay so now everything has been done we've connected we've changed everything here so the next thing we we'll do is to go to our website and type vcsigana dot com slash dot com slash test okay and um, okay so this is it so we'll click on online tracker and we we'll now track the code okay so all we need to do here is to type 2012 